Well, I think it's fair enough to say that maggots at any time of the year is a fantastic addition to your approach. But late autumn and all through the winter, as the nuisance fish become less of a problem, the old maggots, they really can catch you some extra carp. So I'm gonna show you a very simple rig that uses one of our maggot clips, a size six wide gape hook, and a section of hybrid stiff. And this rig is super effective and super easy to tie. Firstly, strip back four inches of the coated section of the hybrid stiff. Place your chosen size maggot clip onto the soft section of hybrid stiff via a four turn blood knot. Now snip off the tag end. Cut off three mil of silicon, place this onto the stiff section of the hybrid stiff, then pass your hook through the silicon. Try not to catch any of the braided section through the hook. Pass your tag end of hybrid stiff through the back of the eye and perform a four turn knotless knot securing in place again through the back of the eye. Cut off an inch section of small shrink tubing, pass this onto the hybrid stiff and over the eye of the hook. I like to use a long tungsten anti-tangle sleeve. I place this over the hybrid stiff, tapered end first. To finish the rig off neatly, I get a 0.6 crimp, place the hybrid stiff through one section of the crimp, then double it back over through the opposite section. Slide the crimp to create the perfect size loop. Place your crimp into the crimp tool, pressing firmly, making sure you get the perfect crimp. Slide your long anti-tangle sleeve up the hybrid stiff, covering the crimp and leaving a small loop. Time to steam the finished rig, leaving a 45 degree angle on the shrink tubing. This will help the hook turn when a fish picks up your maggot rig. Open up your maggot clip, placing one maggot at a time, ensuring not to burst any maggots. You want them nice and wriggly. Once you have a sufficient amount of maggots on the clip, close the gate and there you go, the perfect maggot rig. And there it is, a very simple maggot rig. Now, if you can correct the knot that's not, you'll be able to replicate this rig with ease. Now, I've used the hybrid stiff, and there's a few reasons behind that. Number one, it is very stiff in nature, which means I'm gonna get very few tangles on the cast. And number two, it's crimpable. So once I've got a rig length that I'm happy with, I've gone for about six inches, I can replicate that with ease using the crimps. You know, when it gets tough in the winter and late autumn, them little wrigglies can make all the difference between sitting in your bivvy, twiddling your thumbs and getting out there and catching lots of carp.